What up guys, New York Sports Up here, coming at you with another New York Yankees video. And this is going to be a video where I'm going to be talking about New York Yankees catcher Gary Sanchez. He is now a New York Yankee. The Yankees have not non-tendered him. They won't non-tender him. They will tender him. And he will be a New York Yankee for at least the 2021 season. They're going to try to give him a contract. And uh, this what this shows is... The New York Yankees really do believe in this guy, and they really do believe that there is a good catcher inside of Gary Sanchez, and I do too. Now, Gary Sanchez, the past three years, has been pretty disgraceful. Uh, last year, he was one of the worst hitters in all of baseball. He had a, what, a terrible average. He had like 150. He hit a couple home runs from here and there. Overall, he was pretty abysmal. 2019, decent year, but again, still not great. Didn't hit for a high average. 2018, yet another miserable season, and he led the league, I, I believe, in errors. He was, I think, second in pass balls. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if these stats are correct, but I, I'm pretty sure he led the league in errors as a catcher, and pass balls, he just really couldn't block anything, and he really couldn't really run for anything, and really couldn't hit a lick last year at all. A lot of Yankee fans do not like Gary Sanchez for well reason. He has been pretty terrible the past three seasons, but I really do believe there is a good catcher in Gary Sanchez. I just think he's got to find it in himself. I think he's got to believe in himself more, and I think he's got to put it together for a full season. He's got to work on his defense for sure, but at the plate, he's been atrocious the past three seasons. He's been atrocious. He's got to improve at the plate. He's got to improve in the plate, and he's got to improve defensively. He's just got to improve as a baseball player. I want to believe in this guy. He's a guy I want to like. He's a guy I want to root for, but it's very hard because he has been so hard to watch the past three seasons. I think he had, what, 150 last year? I get it, 60 games, but again, he was awful, awful last year. And again, he's pretty lazy, too. I mean, he hasn't really been the most, you know, you know, sprint to first base kind of guy, you know? Um... A lot of Yankee fans don't like him. Um, a lot of Yankee fans probably don't don't like the Yankees bringing him back. There are some Yankee fans out there that do. I am one of them. I believe in Gary Sanchez. I do. I think Gary Sanchez can be a good catcher. We saw it in the past. We saw it in the 2017 season. He was great that year. He was nasty. He was a top prospect for the Yankees. They fired Joe Girardi, you know, after they fired Girardi in 2018, Aaron Boone came in. All of a sudden, Sanchez started to struggle. Joe Girardi was a catcher when he played as a big leaguer. And Joe Girardi has been a lot better manager than Aaron Boone has. And he has not had the same amount of talent. Nowhere near the same amount of talent as Aaron Boone has. Why they decided to fire Joe Girardi and hire Aaron Boone, who has ne who's never had any baseball experience in his life, is beyond me. You know, I mean, he played baseball, but he was never he's never been a manager in his life. Why they fired Joe Girardi after, you know, one game away from the World Series is beyond me. But anyway, um, ever since Girardi left, Gary Sanchez started to really struggle. And I think that's one of the main reasons why Gary Sanchez just has not been the same player since the 2017 season. You know, I think it's because Joe Girardi, he's a mentor, you know, kind of guy. He works well with the players. And, you know, he's a, he was a catcher. Joe Girardi was a catcher back when he played. You know, when he was a Yankee and with all those other teams, when he was a player. You know, so I think it's this Gary Sanchez struggles the past couple years has to do with Aaron Boone being the manager and not Joe Girardi. I'm not going to blame his struggles on Aaron Boone. I'm just saying. I think Joe Girardi was just a really good fit for Gary Sanchez and a very good mentor for him. But anyway, uh, Gary Sanchez, the Yankees will bring him back. He will be the starting catcher for the Yankees in the 2021 season. Now, if you take a look at Kyle Higashioka behind the plate when the pitchers are on the mound, pitchers do a lot better when Higashioka is behind the plate. And Higashioka can hit. We all we saw it last year. We saw it in the postseason. He can swing the stick. We all, I think we know that. Higashioka has a pretty decent bat. You know, he's never really had a really a great bat in the past, but this year, he turned it around. He actually had a pretty decent offensive season. I remember a game where he had like three home runs against the Blue Jays. Uh, he actually was pretty decent offensively for the Yankees, and he was really never anything offensively, you know, the first couple years of his career. But this year, Higashioka played very well, and he was arguably the better catcher this year. You know, Austin Roman was always, you know, was always a very solid backup. I was always hoping the Yankees would start Austin Roman over Gary Sanchez, but it never really happened. Um, Gary Sanchez is very talented. I think we all know that. I think Yankee players know that. I think Yankee fans know that. I think Aaron Boone knows that. I think the Yankee front office knows that. That's why they brought him back. I still believe in Gary Sanchez, and a lot of Yankee fans are very down on him. I still think Gary Sanchez can be the starting catcher for this New York Yankees team for the next couple years. He's still very young. I think he's 25, 26 years old. He's a young guy. He's He has a lot of talent. He's got a lot of potential. He's got a power bat, and his defense is pretty terrible. He's got to improve that, and you know maybe he's like slims up a little bit. Gary Sanchez can be decent. 
he can be a decent player for this team. And when he's on, he's scary. That Gary is scary. When he can, when he finds it, when he you know gets into a streak, when he gets into a hitting streak, when he gets into a groove offensively, he can be a very scary hitter at the plate. We saw it in 2017. He had some hot stretches that year where he was insane. We know there's talent inside of Gary Sanchez. He's just got to put it together, and he's got to be better defensively, plain and simple. So I want to know your Yankee fans' thoughts. A lot of people probably have mixed emotions about this. A lot of Yankee fans are probably love it. A lot of Yankee fans hate it. Love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Did you want Gary Sanchez back? Did you not? Originally, after the season, I didn't want him. Then I started to believe in him a little bit. I still think Gary Sanchez is a very talented player. He's had great seasons in the past. If he could put it together for a full season, get your bat, and just improve your bat, hit for a decent average at least, and still hit for some power, hit for a decent average, and run run to first base. Don't jog to first base. Run to first base and get better defensively. Gary Sanchez can be the starting catcher for this team and maybe get some more respect from the fan base. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, drop a comment. Want to know your thoughts on the Yankees bringing back Sanchez. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to not like it, but maybe some people will do. Love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. So that's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned for more Yankees content in the future because there's going to be a lot of offseason content. It's going to be a very busy offseason for the Yankees. I'm looking forward to it. So that's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned for more Yankees content. It's coming out soon. Don't worry. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys next time. Let's go Yankees.